Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Hope you guys are doing well. It's school season. I know I'm in school, so if any of you guys are in school, best of luck to you. I know I'm gonna be grinding away while making these awesome, awesome YouTube videos for you guys, but enough with the chit chat. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the long awaited video, ATM versus vending machine business. I know a lot of you guys reached out and said they're stuck and don't know which type of business is best for them. So I'm gonna be going over the pros and cons of both business and see, hopefully uh, help you guys see which type of business is best for you. So before we get into the video, you already know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell notification icon down below so you get notifications whenever I release another video and if you want you know a more explanation how these businesses work I also made videos on them I'll leave them down below you guys can check them out as well and I also just released a brand new course on how you to start an ATM business It's full in depth it will be amazing for any of you guys that want to actually learn the ATM business I'll leave that down below as well but with that being said let's see which type of business is best for you all right, let's start off with the vending machine. First things first, let's talk about capital because you need money to buy an ATM or a vending machine. And you already know me, I always recommend buying used because you can get that huge discount and you don't have to pay the new premium prices. So a used vending machine can run you about 600 to $1,500 depending on the functionality, how old or new it is, and what added uh, features it has. So such as if it has a card reader, obviously it's gonna be a little bit more. On top of the cost of the machine, you're gonna have to buy snacks, obviously, to load it. And the snacks will probably run you, I would say, about $100, depending on the snacks you buy and how much the snacks cost. You can, you know, get your snacks in bulk from like Sam's or Costco or whatever wholesale spot you have near you. But remember, these snacks are a monthly recurrence because anytime you run out of snacks, you're gonna have to go buy more. So $100 a month, I would say, estimate on snacks. On top of that, you're gonna have to pay a business owner his cut where you're putting your vending machine. So whether you're putting it in the laundromat, office space, whatever it is you usually give a business owner a cut which can range from you know 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent whatever you guys agree upon you also can't forget about your minor costs such as gas your time to fill it up and also expiration dates now this is something many people don't talk about obviously every snack and drink has an expiration date so you know you constantly have to monitor them and when it's getting close to your expiration they possibly put it on sale and let's say your snack doesn't sell you're gonna have to throw it away because it's expired and that ultimately leads to money lost for you so let's say your vending machine makes about four hundred dollars a month in revenue so let's say about hundred dollars goes to your snack fill up which will leave you with about three hundred dollars per month and let's say you give the business owner about fifteen percent that will leave you with about two hundred and fifty five dollars and let's add in the minor expenses such as gas and shrinkage as you say which is the the, the snacks that were thrown out because they were expired and let's say about fifty dollars for that and then you are left with about two hundred dollars of pure profit from this one vending machine now remember these are just estimates it could be a lot higher it could be a lot lower it can depend on a variety of things such as your cost um, how much you're selling for your type the the cut you're giving to the business owner it, it could depend on a lot of things also one thing about the eight vending machine business is that you can't monitor what snacks you have in there at any given time so let's say you go and replenish a ba uh, you know a bag of lays and you fill the whole row with it and two days later it sells out but then you don't go to check on your vending machine till the week after and you see that it sold out that's you know four or five days that you could have put something else in there and money made money on top of that so those four or five days where you had nothing in that row you missed out on money and that's one thing you can't monitor you know from an app with the vending machine business now let's compare this to the ATM business so a use ATM will probably run you about twelve hundred to sixteen hundred dollars give or take now this is more than the vending machine how much a vending machine would cost but you don't have all the expenses out of it as a vending machine so you know how in the vending machine you have to buy snacks and that was a monthly recurrence of about hundred dollars for the ATM business you are only loading your own cash which is essentially not a cost to you because it's your own money and you're just loading it the cash is the product you also have to give the business owner his cut for the ATM business as well which would probably be around 10 20 maybe 30% give or take depending on the business um, you also have processing fees now this is where a, uh, a company processes the transactions so whenever someone uses a debit or credit card um, at your ATM it processes it and this will probably run you about 10 20 10 to 25 cents per transaction you will also have your minor expenses such as gas um, your time to load it and you know if something has come up you also have those minor expenses as well so let's say an average ATM brings you about $700 a month in 
in the revenue. And let's say you give the business owner about 15%, which will be about $100. So you're left with uh, you're left with $600. Let's say your processor takes about 10 cents per transaction. So running these numbers on my handy dandy scientific calculator, you're left with $25 to the business owner, which ultimately means $575 in pure profit for you. The cool thing with the ATM business is the cash you put in there is your inventory and you don't have to worry about expiration dates, constantly checking up on it and running sales because cash does not expire. Also, a cool thing is with the ATM business, you can monitor everything on an app on your phone. So you can see how much cash is in there. Um, you know, if the machine is working functionally, you can see everything all from the app on your phone. Also, the amazing thing is as a society, we are moving to a cashless society. So whenever someone needs that cash and that quick cash and your ATM machine is there, they'll use it for sure because obviously they need it and people are walking around with credit cards, so they need that cash. So that's a cool thing to know about the ATM business as well. Now, I do have both ATMs and vending machines, so this is just my experience with both of them. Um, I personally make more money with the ATM machines, so the, the information I relayed might be a little biased because obviously, I make more money with them, but this could be due to a lot of factors. You know, my vending machines might not be in the best of locations, so it might not make me as much. But all in all, do your own research and see which type of business is best for you. And for those of you guys interested in the ATM business, I just released a full in-depth course of everything I know about the ATM business. I'll leave a link to it down below if you guys want to join and check that out. But with that being said, hopefully you guys were able to take away some pros and cons of both the business model and maybe have a better understanding of which type of business is best for you. But with that being said, if you made it this far, please subscribe, like if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.